Hey guys, it's Justin. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day five of Vlogmas 2020. So for today's video, it is actually currently Sunday, so I am gonna be doing a small little Sunday meal prep. I haven't meal prepped in a good while and I honestly haven't even been cooking in a good while too, so I'm quite tired of TV dinners. I'm tired of just like little snack foods, nothing really of substance, nothing really balanced. So I'm finally deciding to take some time to get it all together that way I don't have to worry about it later on also I am going into an extremely busy week I have so much stuff going on within this next week and so I really just don't even want to be worried about trying to make meals or find meals or anything I just want to simply pop something into the microwave and be done so on the menu this week I am gonna for one be making a shredded sour cream and onion chicken secondly I'm gonna be making a mozzarella pork stuffed meatloaf which which is something I have never made before, so that should be interesting. And lastly, I'm gonna be making a shrimp and veggie hash. So without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy the meal prepping, and let's get started. All right guys, so first off, I'm gonna go ahead and start on this shredded sour cream and onion chicken. I will be making this recipe in the crock pot, so it's gonna have to go pretty much all day to be slow cooked, so I need to go ahead and get started. This recipe is pretty simple, and by the way, I will leave all the links to all the recipes down below in the description box, but basically all you need is some boneless, skinless chicken breast, some sour cream, I'm using the Daisy Light sour cream, some onion soup and dip mix, and some cream of mushroom soup. So I'm actually not gonna be expecting to eat all of this this week per se, but this chicken is almost at the end of its freshness. I need to go ahead and cook it now. So I plan on cooking everything. I'm probably gonna have maybe two or three servings of it this week, but I'm gonna immediately go ahead and freeze the majority of it so that I can have it at a later on date. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with putting the chicken in. Then I'm gonna take a little bowl and start mixing everything. First things first, we're going in with our cream of mushroom. Then I'm gonna go in with a half cup of sour cream. Then I'm gonna go in with one packet of the onion soup and dip mix. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and add one cup of water. The recipe actually calls for a cup and a half, but last time I made it, it was a little bit too soupy. I kind of like mine to be a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna mix this all together. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this mixture right over the chicken and try to do this with one hand. I'm just go ahead and make sure everything is evenly coated. I also kinda wanna get some on the bottom. And that is gonna cook on low for about seven to eight hours. So that's pretty much gonna be cooking all day. I will make sure to come back towards the end to show you all the final product. But as far as the next two meals, the meatloaf and the shrimp and veggie hash, these did come from Green Chef, which if you don't know what Green Chef is, it is a meal kit delivery service. I have worked with Green Chef in the past. I absolutely loved it. The food was good. It was just super convenient. Everything shows up to your door already pre-portioned and packaged. All you literally have to do is just follow the instructions and within about 30 minutes you have a full-blown meal so I was really excited when Green Chef reached back out to partner with me again so I want to give a very special shout out and thank you to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video so again like I said Green Chef is a meal kit delivery service and they are a USDA certified organic company they make eating well easy and affordable with plans to fit every kind of lifestyle they have a variety of different dishes to choose from including vegan vegetarian paleo and keto I personally chose to get the keto plan because I just feel like it aligns the most with my current food preferences and it's super simple to sign up all you have to do is just go onto their website you choose your meals and then the food is delivered right and fresh to your door every single week there is a diverse array of options to choose from so it's very unlikely that you'll get bored of having the same meals and what I like the most about Green Chef is that it really just kind of forces me to broaden my horizon I'm a big creature of habit and so it's hard for me to step outside of my comfort zone but because they make it so easy and convenient to try different things I'm much more likely to do exactly that and try different things. Another thing I really like is how easy and clear they make their instructions to follow. I'm still pretty much a beginner in the kit.
kitchen so sometimes I'm a little bit more hesitant to do certain things but since I've been using Green Chef I have picked up on a lot of cooking tips and tricks just to help me along the way so it's cool not only am I having great food but I'm also learning something in the process so if you are interested in trying Green Chef you can head over to their website at greenchef.us slash Justin's Journey 80 and you can use the code Justin's Journey 80 at checkout to get $80 off including free shipping on your first box all right so moving on to meal number three i'm gonna be making this shrimp and veggie hash here's what it looks like in the picture so let's see how close i can get to that and here are all of our ingredients we got some squash kale tomato cheese so yeah let's go ahead and get started So I diced the squash, put a little bit of olive oil on it, and now I'm sprinkling the seasoning mix. The last time I worked with Green Chef, I actually found out that I like squash, so now I'm kind of excited to have it in a different form. So my oven is already preheated to 450 degrees, and this is gonna cook for 16 to 18 minutes. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the veggies. Now we've got the shrimp. All right, my shrimp are rinsed and I'm not gonna add it to the pot. And I forgot I turned my pot off. All right, we're back in business now. I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, and the recipe didn't call for it, but I'm gonna put some Old Bay. All right guys, I just had a little piece of shrimp and it tastes so amazing. And lastly, the recipe does call for me to garnish it with this vinaigrette dressing as well as the leftover Parmesan cheese, but I'm gonna just hold off on that until I'm actually about to eat it, just so it can be a little bit more fresh. But oh my goodness, it looks so good and I am so excited to have it. All right guys, so I got my four meals right here, my meatloaf and veggies and my shrimp and veggies, but I do have to keep it 100% honest with y'all. So about the sour cream and onion chicken, yeah, so what had happened was I actually ended up discarding the entire thing and that is because I finished cooking it, I shredded it and I tasted it and the chicken just didn't taste right, which honestly, if I'm, being 100. I should have known that because there was the slightest stench to the chicken whenever I took it out of the package. So I should have known that, you know, it wasn't good, but I think I was just being super hopeful that I could go ahead and cook it and it would be fine. But once I tasted it and it tasted bad, I was like, boo, no. Ain't nobody got time to be getting no salmonella poisoning. So um, yeah, I did decide to discard it. So that kind of sucks, but I would rather not eat it and not get sick. But that's okay because I am gonna be prepping another kind of protein. And that, my friends, is the Trader Joe's barbecue chicken teriyaki. I would like to just personally say thank you to the like 50 something people who recommended for me to try this because y'all were out here doing the Lord's work. I truly feel like Jesus had a hand in making this creation. So it's all right, I still got my meatloaf, shrimp, chicken teriyaki, and I do have a couple of sides in the freezer. So yeah. That is gonna be it for my Sunday meal prep. All right guys, so before we go, let me go ahead and give the super special secret emoji. 
So special shout out to Miss Yolanda Bell, shout out to TJ's Journey, and shout out to Ariana Taylor Roy. Thank y'all so, so much for supporting. I appreciate y'all so much. And without further ado, oh wait, I'm forgetting the next emoji. Let's see, what should we do for this video? All right, I'm gonna just pick something random and we're gonna choose this one. I literally did not touch anything. <laughs> All right, let me try again. This one. That's the gun emojis that I don't support gun violence. <laughs> All right, last time. This one. It's the brain emoji, we just did that one. Oh my gosh, how hard is it to find an emoji? All right, one more time. This one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's the two beer glasses chugging it up, which I don't even drink beer, but we're gonna go with that, so I'll put the super special secret emoji for today's video right here. Make sure you comment that down below and you will possibly be shout out in the next video. Thank you again to Green Chef so, so much. And if y'all are interested, make sure to check the link down below in the description box. And without further ado, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join me on this journey and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.